Greetings. I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to go over our course syllabus. Um, I want you to keep in mind that I'm going to be going over it for um, an accelerated listing of a course, but this may be expanded into um, a full semester length course. So depending on when you're taking it, um, you may hear different things. So I'll try to keep both of those in mind as I'm going over this overview of the course syllabus and um, then also want you to know within the course there may be some videos that refer to like a week 15 which in an accelerated course you will only have eight to six weeks depending if you're taking it in the summer but a lot of times we'll just leave those videos in there so um, just keep the content of the video in mind rather than the dates or any references to those kind of things all right so this is our course syllabus page. You can reach it by, um, you know, the left side navigation menu and clicking on syllabus. There's two ways to view it. Here's our sway syllabus, which will have a, a lot of different information and um, chunked blocks. And then down below, if you want to just um, see the condensed of the date listing and the assignments, you can do this. Now, keep in mind that this is a module driven course. So you won't be able to just click down here and have it be open. But the things that are due within the next couple of weeks should be open each module um, that we work through. Um, so here you see module one. Well, that will all be open at one time. Um, module two probably won't be open until we're almost done with module one. So keep that in mind. So this is our syllabus. There's different ways you can view it um, by outlines. I'm gonna go ahead and expand it so it fills our screen and um, I'm going to adjust my screen so it fills the whole screen as well, my recording screen. So here's uh, some videos on our course information. Um, again, some of these are not currently my videos, but they will be updated. Uh, you're in Social and Emotional Learning Education B13, which is going to um, help you learn about a variety of social and emotional learning skills that are originally designed to actually just make the world a better place, make our classrooms feel safer, um, have positive goals, positive interactions, maintain positive healthy relationships, make responsible decisions, and to be able to regulate um, emotions and our cognitive activity, just become self-aware. And um, it can be used for yourself, for your family, for our friends, for future classrooms, um, and so we're going to be taking a, a deeper look into the aspects of social emotional learning and enhancing our own skills. We can always get better at navigating life. So we do have one required textbook. It's up here, All Learning is Social Emotional Learning. It is available to check out in the BC Library for free. You'll need to use your BC credentials to log into that. And if you need help, let me know. Or if you'd like to see a video um, about that, I can try. It's uh, as a professor, I don't always have the best student view, but this is what um, the book looks like if you wanted to buy it. And um, it's something you might want to refer back to. This is a, a PDF that we'll be referring to for different readings. And there's an optional um, test textbook called the Handbook of Social Emotional Learning Research and Practice, um, which is a great textbook, but it's not required. So our student learning outcomes for this course, um, we have three and um, by successfully completing this course, you should be able to appraise um, self-awareness and self-management skills that you need to achieve success in life, whatever that means to you. Um, you'll also be able to examine social awareness and interpersonal skills um, that are needed to maintain and establish positive relationships. And then um, the third student learning outcome, or you might hear me mention them as slows, slows, um, that's the abbreviation, is that um, we're going to compare decision making skills and responsible behaviors in personal school and community context. Um, so in order to do all that, we're going to work through course objectives. And, um, you know, some of these are our course objectives. I'm not going to read through every one, but I definitely would read through them, you know, and if there's things in class that we seem to be doing that aren't meeting those course objectives or um, they're outside of the realm of them, let me know because it's not intentional. This is what we need to be working on. Um, assessing our own strengths and limitations and becoming self-aware and that's what we start off with the beginning um, talking about goals talking about empathy um, how to clearly communicate and um, practice and identify active listening skills so um, those are uh, some of our objectives 
So as we go through our course, whatever time we have together, I do hope you stay in contact with me. This is how you can reach me. I am Professor Teresa McAllister. Um, I do host virtual online student hours, Mondays from 4 to 7 and Wednesdays from 2 to 3, or by appointment. Um, if those times don't work for you, I am really happy to meet you. Um, a lot of times I'm working on Sundays, um, probably from about 1 into the late evening, so I'm happy to, to meet with you then as well. Um, Google Voice, I try to pay attention to it, but um, I don't get notified right away. The best way to contact me is through Canvas Inbox. Um, and if you do want to speak on the phone, that's fine. We can do a call through Google Voice. It just might be best if, you, if we made a phone appointment. Um, all right, so if you haven't already watched my quick little introduction video, please do. Um, if you need accommodations, make sure you let me know right away. Um, and then here's some important dates for us. Um, really quickly, uh, our last date of withdrawal comes up. Um, early registration for spring is just around the corner and um, the last day to withdraw. So always make sure you're talking to a counselor or a me about that, right? And we do have a nice little Thanksgiving holiday. Um, again, um, if this is accelerated, it's gonna go really quick. Uh, double the work, right? So three units um, is usually nine hours a week. And so um, doubling that is up to 18. I don't think it's going to take you that much time, but here is a tentative course calendar. So module one, we'll be talking about self-awareness. Um, I'll, I'll plug in some due dates. Now these are um, due dates. You have up to two weeks um, to turn things in without any penalty. Um, very flexible that way, but to get feedback, make sure you get them in before you know try as soon as possible and then that way I can give you feedback to correct anything that you need to correct um, and so module two is all about self-management and um, during weeks two and three module three is social awareness and again if this this may be different weeks for you depending on the modules will fall um, differently depending on which way you're taking this course accelerated or uh, just uh, regular so for the those that are in the current iteration of the course it is accelerated so you've got to get your orientation module done by that first um, Friday because our drop deadline is um, that first uh, I believe Monday right yeah so Monday so um, if I'm not seeing your work done it's my responsibility and by law I am required to drop you so I, I hope that's not the case for any of you make sure you're communicating with me that's the most important thing so you know an A will be 90% um, of your coursework is that's the score that you're getting um, a B and so on so it's pretty much a standard dice grading scale um, and it is different areas have different values. So your reading quizzes, that means that's a chapter. Booked quizzes, there's seven of them. Um, they're going to be 25% and we will drop your lowest quiz score. So don't freak out if um, you miss one or if um, you don't do too well on it. But I think you'll do great as long as you're reading the material. And uh, really, you know, maybe taking notes. So, and then our discussions will be on Flipgrid um, and those will be over 25% and then your different module task um, and there'll be extra credit in those as well. And then the orientation, that very first module and then your final project, um, which will make up the end. So that is our course syllabus. One section that I scrolled through too quickly was our Renegade Hub and that's where you can get all the technical support you need, whether it be with Canvas, your laptops, your Chromebook, any of those other kinds of things. So please um, make sure you make note of this and reach out to them if you need to, or physically go on campus into the bottom floor of the library and go visit them. You can always message me and I will help you if I can or point you there. You can hop on and we can share screens and I can demonstrate for you. So um, up in the at the right hand corner of your syllabus here are the three dots um, you can open up an accessible view here and what it, that will do is it for those of you who have screen readers or different things it will make it um, into a different view that is, is more accessible for you um, so yeah um, have fun with your syllabus and um, getting to know our course a little bit and I look forward to our discussions and um, getting to know you online all right thanks